Anyways, no, I didn't quit Deepwoken, and there's finally enough oaths to do this video, so enjoy. Subscribe, and just know it's all just a joke and stereotypes that don't encompass everyone using a certain oath in it, so don't cry in the comments because your oath has a bad stereotype in it. Now let's get into it. You're lazy. You can't not be lazy and go oathless. You simply took oathless because you're lazy, and it's the easiest oath to get, and you get a wild card slot from it. Oathless users are also guaranteed not min-maxing their builds, because if you're trying to min-max the most optimal build possible, then you're going another oath, because Don Walker is literally a direct upgrade to oathless, and it also has no stat requirements. So the only people who are going oathless are lazy, or they're using, like, really old builds. This can actually be anyone. However, if someone is blind seer, they're usually also flame charm. Because if you're already going 40 willpower, then you can get Azure flames anyway. Also, potentially lights final toll users for the exact same reason as why they go Azure flames. And usually it's Azure flame and lights final toll. However, this isn't very rare to be used for the reason that willpower is a super common stat. Like, literally everyone uses willpower nowadays because you need it for the two best armors in the game anyway, and why are you, why would you not want the best armor in the game? Why wouldn't you want Black Diver? Everyone's getting it. Everyone has willpower. This oath is used by a lot of people. It's probably not their main build. Nobody actually uses Vision Shaper on their main builds anymore because it really isn't that good. However, Vision Shaper users are usually mega tryhards. The reason I know this is because every Vision Shaper user has like 20 max level slots and they're all different min max builds, and then the two builds they've had since the game release that they don't even touch anymore. If you see someone with Vision Shaper, just know he's probably about to like faint cancel mantras into other mantras and. Uh, be cringe and spam M1. Also, Vision Shaper users, why do you auto-click? Like, like, that's cringe. Stop it. That's not even a joke. Every time I see a Vision Shaper user, they're auto-clicking. And I didn't even know that was a thing until my friend who's a Vision Shaper user told me about it. How it lets you swing on the frame 1 input so it's like 0 .002 milliseconds faster. You're a loser. Say it with me, everyone. Kanor, 550 health, tank, support build, with five other guild members. Yay! No, but really, Link Strider is usually just the same people who play Medic in Team Fortress 2, so let's make a quick analogy. Medic players usually aren't great at FPS games. Link Strider players usually aren't that great at PvP. They just want to help out their team, sometimes they just do it because nobody else plays support. Usually, Link Strider users who have it on their main slot just aren't very good at the game and that's why they use Link Strider. Or they just use it for support because nobody else in the gank wants to use any sort of support. They usually have Reinforce and Sacred Field and they're probably just going to sit in the back and if they get hit they're going to sit at a campfire. Mega Trackstar Oath. Or they did it because it's easy to get and they just like mobility options and ganks, but either way, Jet Striker players are usually track stars. I know this because I don't usually run away, but on my only Jet Striker build, I really just like to hit people, piss them off, outrun them, and make them angrily chase me around Etrus for like 20 minutes before they either get bored or call like four other people to come gank me. What I'm saying is Jet Striker is for assholes. I use Jet Striker because I'm an asshole. Anyone using Star Kindred is using Azure Flame, or Normal Flame. Either way, they're probably using Railblade. The reason why a lot of them think it's better to not use Azure Flame, even though it's a direct upgrade from regular Flame, and they're probably going Willpower anyway for Black Diver armor, is because it matches the flame color of the Railblade. Which, I mean, if you really want the aesthetic that much, then sure, just don't go Azure Flame and harm your build in terms of strength, with, when you could just go Deep Fire Ring. But, you go off, you know? But also, you're weird. Let's be real, anyone who was using Oathless six months ago is probably using Don Walker now. There is no stat requirement, so it's always an option, and it's literally a direct upgrade when compared to Oathless. And it also has Radiant Kick, which is an amazing mantra. You, you also just counter shadow users with no downside, so why would you not want to go this? Because I hate shadow users, and you should hate shadow users. And if you're a shadow user, you probably also hate shadow users. 
but Don Walker is just used by everyone who's not lazy enough to go oathless, or by anyone who's, you know, not bad at the game and doesn't actually just try and preserve their slots as much as possible, because, you know, that's some pussy shit. Shadow users. If they have Contractor, there's a 90% chance that they also have Shadow. They always have Eclipse Kick, and I'm TIRED of it! I'm tired of Shadow players saying Eclipse Kick doing a bar is balanced because of the two second windup. I don't care if the windup is six years. If I'm in a 6v6 gank and the contractor Shadow user is randomly snaking hits and lands an Eclipse Kick that does a bar and he was outside of my FOV and behind me, I couldn't do anything about it. And the stupid windup does not make it balanced. I will say it's all right in 1v1s and I know I'm kind of ranting here, but if it's not a 1v1, it is not balanced. Contractor users are actually the worst living people in all of Deepwoken. If you use Contractor, you love ruining people's fun, and you also love men. And about Contractors, let me do the actual stereotype now, because I kind of went off script with this one. You just spam the counter. I know, right? That's, that's insane. I think it's also insane how so many of them have Equalizer, which is the name of the Contractor counter move, in their first slot. Like, yeah, people people who don't have their weapon in their first slot, it, it's usually pretty cringe, right? You're putting a counter in your first slot, and that's how I know it's such a big crutch for you. And yeah, you can vent it. But also, what if I just vented and then they did it again because the cooldown's like three seconds? Balance game. I hate you. You just like parrying if you're using Silent Heart. Honestly, I think it would be better if the devs made Silent Heart just straight up remove all mantras from a 1v1 and not have its own abilities because, you know, then it just lets me enjoy pressing F, M1, and R. But Silent Heart players are usually just people who really don't like mantras because they're easily the most boring part of the game and they can really feel unfair sometimes. Sure, you can do your funny faint mix-up, but those are boring and I don't want to deal with it. Alternatively, if you're a Silent Heart user, you're like me, and you play a lot of Souls-like games, and you just like to parry and, and dodge and block and press the button. So, yeah, you're probably pretty chill, and also probably hate mantras like me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, just know it's just a stereotype, so I don't want to see you crying in my comments because you're a Contractor Eclipse Kick user, and you're going to start ranting, write me a paragraph about how Eclipse Kick is actually balanced because of the two-second wind-up. Shut up, you don't know what game design is. Um, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I might make some more. Uh, I'll do more Arcane Odyssey videos or something. Uh, no, I'm not quitting Deepoak, and I know a lot of you have been, like, asking me that. Which is really annoying, because, like, yeah, because... Just because I'm making the videos on a different game, doesn't mean that I'm quitting the game that I still do videos on, you know? I just haven't uploaded a Deepoak video that much. And that's just because Deepoak is really dry right now, and, uh, it's not doing so well. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day. And, uh, give me your money, and follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord in the description and comment section down below. And goodbye.